What is up everybody? My name is Griffin and today we're going to be looking at the new armor and weapons that they just shown in the Age of Triumph stream today. Um, this stuff looks insane. Like I was honestly kind of blown away with the armor sets that they created. They're really figuring out how to create good armor sets and create good effects on them. So at first they showed the, vi or the, um, vault, the vault of glass armor set. So this is like the concept art for it. Uh, looks pretty good. It looks like it has like some vex components in it. So here the guys are coming out, and it's all it's all nice and blue. On the warlock, you see he has some, or on the sorry the hunter, just some nice blue uh, effects. To be honest, this is my least favorite, um, or the hunter is my least favorite uh, character for this set. To be honest, like I don't know, it doesn't look that good. It's not that insane. The warlock's pretty cool with the like the harpy things going on its back. I think that's really interesting. It's just the, the hunter doesn't have any cool like effects happening like the other two guys do, unfortunately. Um, the Titan though is my favorite, I think, for almost all the sets. Like look at the back, the, the thing on the back looks insane. I don't know what that is, but it looks so nice. Um, they really did well on this set on this set to be honest. Like it looks really good. All the right primaries now have adept versions. What this means is so you get you can get the raid primary and then you have a chance of getting the adept version in the challenge mode and what that means is the adept version is an exotic version of the raid primary and it also has elemental damage so the regular raid primary the legendary version will not have elemental damage but the exotic version will this applies to all raid primaries of all raids so every single primary and every single raid will have um, elemental damage as long as you're using the adept version which is an exotic version the Vex Mythic class now has ornaments, uh, pretty cool. The Vision of Confluence Adept is honestly, it just looks so nice. Like, oh man, I'm really excited to get these Adepts. It kind of sucks that they are exotic, but it does make sense. Um, you know, it would just be too powerful if they were legendary, as they were before. So, the raid weapons that you can get from Vogue include Atheon's Epilogue, the Fatebringer, Praetor's Timepiece, Vision of Confluence. So those, those are the primaries, those are the ones that will have adept versions. You can get the Praetorian Foil, or Praetorian Foil, sorry I pronounced that weird. Found Verdict, Praetor's Revenge, which I'm really excited for. I never really used that sniper in its prime, unfortunately. The Corrective Measure and the Hezen's Vengeance. So those are all the weapons that you can get from Vogue that are now going to be at 400 light. The Kuroda Armor is just... Ooh. I don't even know what to say. This is like easily my favorite set I've ever seen in Destiny. It's just insane. Uh, they really went all out with this. The only gripe with it that I have is the Hunter isn't as kind of crazy with like the spikes everywhere, but it still looks good. It still looks really nice. The the Warlock is second best, and the Titan, in my opinion, is just the best set. I think this Titan set is the best set they've ever created in terms of armor. It is just unbelievable what they've done. Now another cool thing with this armor you'll see is once they shoot the warlock, he um his like little sp the little spikes that are protruding disappear, and that happens with this set and the uh, King's Fall set, which I find really cool. It's like a, a nice little touch. You can see like yeah, it's like forming back on the hunter. The hunter's legs are building back up, and uh, I don't know. It just looks really awesome. The Titan set, obviously probably the best set ever created in Destiny, to be honest. They really went all out with it. So, one thing that's kind of crazy is because they made the Black Spindle, and because the Black Spindle is basically an exotic version of the Black Hammer, they are not having a Black Hammer 400 light. So the Black Hammer will not drop from Crota now. So if you want to get a Black Hammer, and you want that in your vault, go get it now, because it will not be available come... Um, on March 28th, you will never be able to get the Black Hammer again. So get it now if you want to be, if you want to collect it. If you are a collector, get it now. Necrochasm now has ornaments, and the one change they did with it, which is nice, like I might actually use the gun because of how insane this change is. They made it from the Necrochasm used to make an explosion when it uh, headshot at enemies, but now it just makes the explosion regardless of where you kill them, which is pretty insane to be honest. So it basically has a, a super firefly on the body, which is crazy. So the weapons that are in Crota, or are in the Crota's end, are the Abyss Defiant, the Word of Crota, the Oversoul Edict, and the Fang of Yuryu. These all have adept versions, which means they're um, elemental when they're exotic. They also have the Light of the Abyss, 
Swordbreaker, Song of Your Ute, Hunger of Crota. Notice I did not say Black Hammer. So yeah, once again, Black Hammer is not going to be in Crota's end anymore. Very sad. Go get the gun now if you want it. It's insane. Used to be insane. Not as good now. So the Oryx armor is... Eh, it's pretty okay. It just looks like beefier, colorful version of what we had before. I never really liked the armor particularly from this raid, but it's not bad. Um, I will say the it is more like spiny and blue, and it does look cool with like the magma cracks going through it. Like I said, the armor does have the effect that the crowed armor had, where it will dissipate as the um, as you get shot, kind of thing. So that's not bad. The orcs primaries also the dev versions I already said this. So the weapons that you can get from King's Fall include the Anguish of Dristan, Zayuli's Bane, Smite of Moraine, Doom of Chelchis. These all are the primaries. They have adept versions, exotic with the elemental versions, legendary with no elements. Um, you can also get the Divines of Yasmin, Midas Reckoning, Silence of Arn, or I used to just call it Silence of A. Aaron, Elulim's Frenzy, and Quilliam's Terminus. Um, so these are all going to be at 400 light. Once again, the primaries will have elemental version if they are exotic. The Touch of Malice also has an ornament now, which uh, it just kind of looks like it has a giant bat wing on it, which is kind of interesting. Wrath of the Machine gear looks... I don't know. I was not a fan of this gear set at all. I thought it was really went lame, but it looks pretty okay with what they did with the um, special effects on it. So we see here the... Like there's just kind of fire everywhere and part pieces of the gear is kind of glitching out like it does look cool definitely won't be using it i don't know i just don't like the gear set that much at all i think they didn't do so good of a job with this still crota zen easy easily the best gear set they've ever created um wrath of the machine primaries will now have elements they are now adept just like all the other primaries from the raids the Gears that are the the gear that you can get from Wrath in the Machine includes the Genesis Chain, Fever and Remedy, Steel Medulla, and the Chaos Dogma. These will have adept versions. You can also get the Quantaplasm, Ether Nova, Ex Machina, Zeal Vector, which is the only raid um, raid sidearm. So you can get that if you want. If Materia, Sand and Fury. These are all going to be 400 light. They're all already 400 light, so a bit unnecessary. Now they created one more final set, and it is the. Um, the treasure the this armor set from the treasure of the ages i think it looks pretty basic it does look like year one which kind of is a throwback but it, it just doesn't compete with any of the other armor sets at this point it is a chroma set and i i think chroma sets are easily the worst sets they're always so lame but i think the the class armor looks the coolest on these and the class armor you actually don't have to obtain the class armor from the treasure of the ages which is nice you can get the tr class armor from a quest given by the speaker so I really like that. I wish they just made all the gear pieces separate quests and they didn't put in a treasure of ages. I wish they would just not even have treasure of the ages. I wish they would just stop doing fucking treasure boxes, but that's just me. These guys got to make money somehow and that's how they're doing it. Now, along with all these, you now have drag the dragon's breath now has an ornament. Um, the Lord of the Wolves has ornaments and I'm going to make the assumption that the Queen's Breaker's bow and the Dreg's promise have ornaments as well, just because these all came out at the same time. Soros Regime now has ornaments. Uh, no Land Beyond has ornaments. Um, and then some final little tweaks they did. The Truth is now a single firing rocket. So it only shoots one. But they also increased the reserve ammo for the gun. And it now reloads. It's the fastest reloading rocket launcher. So that's how they kind of balance it out. The No Land Beyond has more kick when you're being shot. Scory's, um, what's it called? The Scory's artifact will only last for a minute. When, until you get a kill, it will not start... Um, activating again so that kind of helps to prevent camping in trials of Osiris um, sidearm to kind of change the sidearm meta they made it so when you respawn you only start with one clip of ammo after respawning so it's not like you don't have to worry about ammo ever you do have to worry about it that's a pretty good change and special ammo boxes now reload your specials whenever you pick them up just like how they reloaded heavies when you picked heavy boxes up so these are all the changes that they mentioned in the new um, in the new stream i'm pretty excited about it it's just gonna be so much to do there's gonna be four freaking raids to do a week with all these challenges it's gonna be a lot i feel like it's gonna last for maybe a month and a half two months of just solid like gameplay just figuring everything out so i'm pretty excited for that i hope you guys are too i hope you guys enjoyed this video i put a lot of time into this video to be honest um so i appreciate a like and i'll see you guys hopefully when age of triumph comes out peace out